my guys it's been a long time but on I just had so much work to do and I've been hustling so hard over the past month or so and I'm super pumped super thrilled a lot of new updates a lot of cool stuff and um, we got a new build I decided on footage because I did film since I started this project but um, it was on my cell phone so it was like all first person I didn't quite like use my good cameras or do anything so yeah I'm pretty pumped without further ado I guess I'm just gonna start like from the beginning from when I got it and uh, for where we're at now so pretty pumped all right guys so we got a new project which is pretty sweet um, this John I'm just getting ready to work on it but Monica has my camera so I'm using my iPhone that's not too bad um, I got an O3 Kawasaki Kawasaki Vulcan. Um, I'm pretty pumped about it. I'm going to make it into some type of bobber. It's going to be a lot of fun. I just didn't want to start without having a first recording. I'm probably going to start with ripping the fender off and then just working my way up. I'm not sure how I want to go about making it a hardtail or keeping it as soft with a mounted seat. I'm not quite sure on how I want to go about it, but this is my uncle's. Um, he just recently crashed. Thank God he was okay, but um, he went down pretty hard and he was able to, um, or he pretty much handed it to me, which I'm very, very thankful for. And we're gonna make this a fa family heirloom. So we're gonna build it up, make it dope. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty pumped about this build, this new chapter. Um, yeah, overall pretty hype about it. But I'm gonna get started. I don't have my camera, so I can't film, but once I get my camera, I'll start filming. Okay, so, I was able to get the fender off. Um, I'm excited for this build. I think I do want to somehow figure out, I think they show, sell like lowering links that go on both sides of the springs and they harden up the rear. And then I'll get a bobber style seat. And then I don't did label the old left right turn signal and brake. And then, yeah, we're just gonna plug along at this bad boy. We got, I gotta take up the, Leon's you know, looking for me. I gotta take up the exhaust tank. Yeah, I'll get you off. <laughs> All right. I'm filming now. You want to give an explanation, Alina? Ex Alina demo. Tell us. Tell them what we're gonna to do to this. What's the expectations? We're going to sit inside. We're gonna sit inside. Yes, yeah, so bye. Hold on. We're gonna build it. Build what? The engine. We're gonna build an engine, turbo. Mhm. Mm That'd be sweet. But I don't think so. We're gonna make it a bobber. It's okay. Bye. I'm not interested today. Grab your Kindle. Let's go inside. We're just gonna do a little choppers, stiffers, bobbers, lowers, paint, new tank, fender, bars. Do some paint and some stuff, and uh, yeah, that'll be it. A little later right now, but I was able to get the bike pretty much stripped down to where we can start manipulating some stuff. So I was looking at some some new tanks, and it seems that I read it's on some forums they relocate the thermostat to um, a different location to be able to fit a peanut tank. So that's what I'm gonna try to do right now. I know, let's see, this video is a little un unconventional just cause I don't have my camera, but I'm gonna see if I can film a whole video on my iPhone. You never know. Relocated to like right here, possibly. It's, they say it should work, so let me check. Alrighty, so we were able to reroute the thermostat and cooling mechanism to the side. We just, we, you can do it with stock, the stock hoses that are there, but I was able to find one of my heater core lines from my T40 to pop in there. But now I can use pretty much any tank I want because I can just have it sit right on top here. I just gotta cut this little bracket off and I can pop it on top, so. Oh, baby. Quick update. A little bit of a change of plans. Um, right now, I'm working on the rear fender, but um, I was gonna do a full build right off the jump. I think I'm just gonna get it to a point where I'm happy with it and just enjoy it for a little bit until the winter time, because we still got a lot of summer left. 
and um, I'd love to just start riding. So we went and put on a hardtail link. Um, I have a bobber seat on the way. I just cut the frame and mocked up a new fender, which was made from the old fender. I like the way it's looking so far. I don't like how big the tank is, but what are you gonna do? Um, so I'm gonna refinish. I'm gonna sand everything down. I'm not too, con there's two dents here. I'm not too concerned um, because I'm gonna get a new tank next season anyway. So I'm just gonna spray or kind of sand her down prime paint and uh, we went and picked up some paint i think i'm just gonna go with super simple but i kind of like this color for some reason i was drawn to this like metallic those uh dust covers for the shocks so cool jones i'm gonna paint those black uh, matte black i have matte black bars i got black grips i'm gonna paint these matte black um all the controls so um just like a black blue and polished look but the wheels are gonna be black so um, I have to figure out what I'm going to do for exhaust, but I haven't updated this video is uh, all filmed on my iPhone, but, um, cause it works. Honestly, I, uh, I've yet to locate, I forget, I don't know where my camera is. Not my big one, but my, my little vlog camera. So I'm just kind of rocking. It's been a fun project so far. I've actually had a lot of fun with this rear end, trying to figure out what, how to make it work. Cause they don't really make anything for this specific bike. Um, so I kind of had to make shift, um, some parts to get this to work properly. I hope it doesn't break for the love of God. Finally to here, uh, right now I am just taking a completely apart. I am going to be painting, I, I don't know how much I filmed, honestly. So, let's turn on my music. I started sanding the tank. At first I was gonna go full bore with like, from head to toe um, build, but I think I want to at least get it running even though it runs get it like kind of built like have fun enjoy it and then rip it apart in the summer or this winter again so for now i'm just gonna do um i chopped the rear as you saw i'm gonna do a bobber seat and i'm in the middle of the process of building this bracket i'm waiting for my buddy to come over and help me weld this i don't have my welder anymore and it's gonna be basically let's see where are we this guy right here and then weld that bad boy bobber seat so super thrilled with that that's coming along and right now i'm working on the front end because i did get my handlebars and they work they're all together so these are the handlebars i'm gonna run they're like uh short zebras a little bummed out that these brand new parts are coming with it uh little nicks but they're cheap kind of so it works and i test fitted those are a few moments ago, but I wasn't filming. And right now my, I forgot this, I think it's a triple tree. It's, my John ski is out. So uh, I wanna paint this black. So basically, bleh, let's just pretend I stay there. I want this black, this black, this black, this bl like headlight, bottom, triple tree. And then I might paint my forks black as well. So, and then I'm getting those shock dust covers that are really cool. So it's gonna be a lot of black here. And then, um, so like my whole inspiration for this build is straight out of Akira, which I'm just like pulling a bunch of references and I'm trying to like, design, like do this bike how I would draw the bike and just have fun with it for the first stage and then dive deeper and get a smaller tank. Cause I'm not too thrilled about this big old Vulcan tank. It's a little big, I want it like a, um, like a two, three gallon peanut tank, that's the goal, which isn't hard. It's just, um, I don't wanna to dive too deep because we have a lot of stuff going on, but I did. I'm pretty much everything I need is on its way or here. And I just have to, as soon as I weld the bracket in, um, I just gotta clean it up, start prepping for paint, which I already have done, and then um, start to paint and then reassemble. The paint's gonna be really cool. I'm not gonna show you in this video, um, because I want to surprise you. So, and then also I gotta take the uh, wheels off. I wanna paint those black. A lot of black accents, but the main color is not black. So, it's pretty, pretty pumped. And all just having fun. Having fun, I've never really built a bike before. I'm only really into cars. Like I used to ride forever and then I got into cars and then they consumed my life. So um, yeah, overall I'm thrilled, I'm pumped. A lot of new progress in um, freaking my figures. My figures are, I'm like 
on the last stage of approvals for Baby Inu, and I wrote a book for it. It's so freaking so cool, and that's kind of what I've been spending the majority of my time doing. It's just designing, writing the book, finalizing the character, creating new characters, and um, so yeah, that's if I ever disappear, it's always because I'm just in super creative mode. I started a painting, which I'm pumped on. It's coming together really nice. Life's good. I just gotta, uh, the balance, the balance. I'm my child, I didn't even told you what I'm having. My child is freaking four weeks away and that's freaking sick. They're working, I mean I went, I went to an HPD event this weekend for filming, which was really cool. I have a drift event coming up, um, again for filming because I was able, um, we're doing work for uh, Ready Set Drift. Good friend of mine, Mike, awesome guy, super happy to be working with him now. And uh, yeah, life's good. I'm good, just doing a little work. And um, sometimes I really don't feel like filming when I'm just, like sometimes garage time is, like I kind of keep to myself. Like I love filming, but sometimes it's somewhat of an outlet and I just kind of get down. So, um, and you know, just put on music, start putting things together. I did uh, kind of jumping all over the place. I did rewire some stuff. So like the, um, oh man, I forget what it's called. The uh, fuse box, I forget what they call it. It's not a called a fuse box on this drone, but it's I put it it was here. I relocated it to in here and uh, I'm just waiting for my rear brake light to get here so I can wire that in. And uh, yeah, clean the uh, air filter or the air drone box, drone drone. Uh, eventually I wanted to take take get rid of the air box and do like little filtered bang bangs. And uh, the exhaust is sick. Super pumped to be the exhaust. I just have to wait wait until it gets in and at first it probably pick, pitch up a little bit but I, my goal is to have like some crazy Akira gangsterness. The all around goal is to make this a, a real hard tail but eventually we'll get there so. But I gotta go cook for the fam squad, I'm gonna grill tonight and pretty pumped. My garage is a complete mess but that's how it is when you start working on anything so uh, yeah I appreciate it. Hopefully uh, you guys like the new build. Hopefully new videos will be coming out once I start painting, once I start really putting this thing together and I'm super pumped. Um, let me know what you'd want to see with a motorcycle build because um, I just enjoy it. It's something new and uh, yeah, it, it's, it sparks my interest. I love, love riding. I've ridden since I was like 18 years old. I have funny motorcycle stories, crashing, all that good stuff. And uh, so yeah, let me know what you want to see. And I'm excited. I don't think I've seen, um, I see a lot of Honda Shadows, but I don't think I see, I don't, I've been doing a lot of research and ain't nobody got love for the Vulcans. <laughs> Made some progress. Hopefully I didn't forget to review anything I already did in this John, to this John. Um, just basically in like the take apart stage where taking everything apart and assembling. I'm not gonna, the, I love the way the, hopefully I showed you what the rear fender looks like. I think I did. If not, I'll throw a picture in. But go film, or I'm gonna go grill. I love you guys, holla at your boy. Happy freaking Tuesday, happy Wednesday. I don't remember what day it is, but holla at your boys. Ow!